Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and today I am launching new video tutorial series dedicated to cryptocurrency algorithmic trading. This would be practical tutorials where I will show you how to build own trading bot. There are thousands of bots on any exchange and their strategies are different from simple indicator trading algorithms to complex neural networks that analyze news, explore blockchains, and so on. In this tutorial series we'll build a simple indicator trading bot. So what are the benefits of having a trading bot? What works faster? Of course no one will argue with that. Bot can look through market data, analyze it, find new trading opportunities much faster than human. And bot is more disciplined. Every trader faces with two big problems – greed and fear. Both of them may destroy any successful strategy and lead to big financial losses. Bot simply sticks to its algorithm and never breaks rules. And of course, bot can work 24 by 7. It is really hard to be an intraday trader. You need to stare at the monitor with chart all day long to find some trading opportunities. You get tired fast and need a rest. Crypto market, unlike stocks, works 24 by 7 and you may miss a lot of trading opportunities when you sleep. Majority of bots have a similar functionality. Firstly, they receive market data from the exchange directly or any other information provider. They may receive price data like open, close, high, low values, trading volume within a certain period of time, order book information, trading history, Twitter news feed, and so on. Then, depending on bot's algorithm, this data is being analyzed to find a trading opportunity to go long or go short. If such opportunity is found, bot plans a trade. So bot may define a position size with some risk management practices like stop losses and so on. And finally, bot places the order, tracks it and may cancel if necessary. Bot development typically has four stages. First, strategy selection. It is the most important part. As I said, there is a huge number of strategies. In this tutorial, we will pick some simple. It will not definitely make you a millionaire over the months, but it will give you a basic understanding of algorithmic trading and opportunity to improve existing strategy or move to the more complex one. The second is coding, the actual process of board building. You shouldn't have to be a guru programmer to make your own boat. Frankly, I am the horrible one. But you need to have some basic understanding and knowledge of object-oriented programming. Our goal is to build the code that works, not the elegant code. I will use two programming languages in my videos – JavaScript and Python. If you want to improve your programming skills, there are a lot of video tutorials on the YouTube. The third is backtesting and optimization process. Actually, it is the second important part. Every strategy must be tested before moving both into production mode. For this purpose, we will prepare different data sets of market data and will use them to analyze our strategy performance. A strategy may have multiple parameters that can be optimized during backtesting process. I will not use some sophisticated algorithmic optimizers and will change these parameters manually. And number four, live data testing. Finally, when you will be happy with the strategy performance, you can move bot into production mode. This may require some code changes to take into account exchange API specifics. And of course debugging may follow. So give bot very small amount of money during this transition period. In this video I will show you the strategy we will implement. 
It is a Blade Runner strategy. It's one of the simplest intraday trading strategies. This strategy in its basic implementation uses only candle close values and moving average. If you don't know what is moving average, it is an arithmetic moving average calculated by adding the closing prices of the security or in our case cryptocurrency for a number of time periods and then dividing this total by the number of time periods. Formally, it is a simple moving average. Also, exponential moving average exists. It is calculated similarly to SMA, but recent price changes have more weights in it. We will experiment with both in the strategy to understand what is better, SMA or EMA. But any moving average has a certain number of periods. The number of closing prices in, on which average values are calculated. Blade Runner works well with a short MAs, like less than 50 periods. How does the Blade Runner work? Candle close above simple exponential moving average signals to open a long position. When you go long, you keep position open until candle closes at some level below simple exponential moving average. Similarly for short. If candle closes below simple exponential moving average, you open short position and close it when candle closes above simple exponential moving average. As risk management, we'll use stop losses. If you go long, place stop loss order few pips below simple exponential moving average. And the same for short. When you go short, place your stop loss order at some level above simple or exponential moving average value. And depending on your entry price and stop loss price, calculate right position size. Remember, do not risk more than 2% of your bank account on any trade. Well, this was all for today. This is the strategy we'll implement and test and optimize in future videos. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!